When considering breast augmentation, one of the questions we need to answer is where that breast implant goes. It can go above the muscle, below the breast tissue, or below both the breast tissue and the, the chest muscle, the pectoralis muscle. Um, there are pros and cons to each of those. With placing it just underneath the tissue, sometimes there's a problem with visibility of the implant. The tissue is always relatively thin if we're putting in an implant, and with the implant directly under there, very often you can see that upper edge of the implant, and a lot of times can even see rippling. It, with movement, sometimes the, the fluid within it can ripple and cause a visible abnormality. Um, also, if we place the implant above the muscle below the breast tissue, that implant's in contact with the breast tissue. And breast tissue just naturally does contain some bacteria. In that case, the bacteria can attach itself to the implant and cause just kind of a chronic smoldering inflammation that results in scar tissue formation and then hardening of the breast and even changing in the shape. That happens actually 35% of the time in patients with a, sub, a, a subglandular implant. Um, the other choice is to place the implant underneath the muscle as well. In that situation, there's another layer of normal healthy tissue that kind of camouflages that upper edge of the implant, hides the ripples, and makes for a much more natural drape of the breast. Also, and the reason isn't really known very well, but it causes less capsule formation or scar tissue formation. Whereas with the subglandular, 35% of people get a capsule form formation abnormally. It's maybe one to 2% if it's underneath the, the muscle of the chest wall. Um, the only downside of putting it underneath the muscle is it is more uncomfortable for the first few days. Granted, that's to be considered, but it, it shouldn't sway you from going the way that would be better in the long term and give you a much nicer result. Um, we do give you plenty of pain medicines and muscle relaxers to help with that discomfort. I even put a nerve block in at surgery to try to make it less uncomfortable. But realize you get through those first few days and life is much better. <laughs> and it's better to have a nice result in the long run.